Well, I've seen a few videos of these online and uh, I've been uh, hankering after one for a little while. Um, this band saw is a machine mart Clark badged CBS 45 MD um, six inch by four inch band saw and there's uh, quite a lot of fabricators and, uh, and makers that uh, work with metal and various other materials on YouTube that uh, that use these things and I thought why not I've got a mill I've got a lathe um, you know it's uh, probably a good idea to get one of these make light work of cutting through things give myself a good head start um, things I like about this, um, I was tempted to get um, an upright bandsaw and um, I decided to get one of these because it does horizontal and also the vertical. Um, downside is it comes with a pretty sort of weak metal stand, which is uh, um, or a weak metal uh, uh, surface for cutting on, which is this thing here. And uh, it's pretty flexible. And I think that uh, that wouldn't make such uh, such great cuts. So I've um, I bought a piece of uh, mild steel to uh, to upgrade that, and I'll uh, I'll add that to the uh, the unit as I go. Um, it's uh, it's not bad. It seems to first couple of cuts I've made. I made uh, one on a bit of this uh, this nylon. Um, it was that side that I cut. That's pretty decent uh, surface finish. Um, that's the that was done with a, a normal hacksaw. That's done with the uh, the bandsaw. And it's absolutely square. It's lovely. Um, there's a bit of uh, cutting on the bit of aluminium. Just a bit of aluminium bar. And again, that's quite nice. It's quite a nice finish. I mean, obviously, just uh, get that and finish it up on the mill. That'd be uh, fantastic. And again, nice, nice uh, square cut on it. Um, so yeah, it's uh, a reasonably finish it off. I mean, obviously messing about with the the pressure settings and various things, which uh, you know. So I think once I've got it dialed in, it'll be uh, absolutely superb. That a few things I don't like about it. This bolt here catches here, which I think is just you know it could have just been finished off slightly better to start with. Um, this stand I think is really weak it's like properly I mean it's not on a great level surface at the moment but it's it's properly kind of flexible I think one of the first mods I'll do to it is probably put some some metal across the bottom there just to uh, just to brace that up um, I have got a welder but uh, I'm not uh, I'm not going to start welding it and just bolt some angle iron onto it or something like that um and i think other than that it seems okay um a few little weirdnesses about it uh these wheels are very the the uh the bracket for these wheels is very uh flimsy i, can, I can't see that as being used for being used for uh moving things around very much and uh i thought this was quite strange how the uh, earth connection fa fouls one of the mounting bolts. It's not like as I've put something in the wrong place. This mounting bolt is, is is absolutely where it's supposed to be. I think what I'd do is uh, probably move that to this side. Just drill and tap a hole there and do put the earth mount put the earth mount up there. It won't, it won't make it electrically dangerous. Um, it just uh, just means that there's no no bolt likely to uh, to cause problems with the earth connections um as a piece of kit seems all right generally all right took a little bit of uh, faffing about to get it sorted um but um yeah it's uh, it's all right and i quite like the fact that this thing stands up and uh then you can put this this little, this little table on there and make it into a an upright band so but uh, as i say this uh, this metal plate is really really it's really weak it's i mean you can look at that deflection there absolutely weak as hell and other people have said the same it's uh, it's not great uh, it's not a great piece of, piece of kit probably 
replace it with a bit of 10 mil thick plate and uh, provide some drilled and tapped bolts into uh, into into this bit or somewhere else but i'll uh i'll make that up as i go along but uh yeah other than that great little bit of kit um some people have said um that one thing that you do need to kind of modify out of the box is this um the uh, micro switch which initially doesn't sort of engage with this uh, this little tab properly um but um you know it doesn't take a lot of effort to do that you can hear the micro switch engaging as you open and close that um and uh, that's about it saw blade it comes with suitable for cutting um cutting various uh, various metals so it's uh, it's good to go out the box but um don't expect to be able to put it together if you haven't got a decent uh, decent range of tools from like allen keys spanners probably two sets of spanners um and uh, the other thing that's worthy of note is um these bolts for the stand um the initially uh, they they just they're just a sort of normal normal bolt and i've uh, replaced those with a nylock nut on the other end just so that uh, you know with the vibration and whatnot they don't uh, they don't come loose so i think the key to this is get the thing do do a few mods straight out of the box now a lot of nuts strengthen this bit up at the bottom just so it's uh it's not wobbly or anything just brace it um and uh and and, and a few little trims and tighten everything up because uh, half the bolts were loose as they come out the uh out the out the uh, out of the box so it really does need uh, just a little bit of attention on all that stuff but uh, other than that great piece of kit and uh, initial cuts on it are, uh, are quite impressive so um, yeah nice bit of kit i'm not sponsored by machine mart um but uh, you know i always buy buy sort of uh, always buy the stuff from them as opposed to importing it from somewhere else because uh, at least you know that uh, there's somewhere you can take it back to but uh, yeah overall good piece of kit i look forward to using this and uh, making some kit with it thanks for watching